Hello, everybody. As just for that, we are never going to the palace. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna get right up to the deadline. And then I'm not gonna do it. And it's gonna be game over. Slather them with lotion. That's how that's how we survive in the age of COVID nineteen. <laughs> yeah, I literally uh, put lotion on my hands every time um, I wash my hands, and that's how I have such soft baby hands. I feel like I left ooh Kawakami. I left this, uh, not sure what I wanted to do, I think, but I think I'll call Kawakami. Oh! Hi! I <laughs> like how she's like, oh, it's you. All over our teacher. Thank you so much. Hey. So, master, I want to provide more services for you. Get your hand off his knee. Uh, what are you scheming? Definitely not. I'm definitely not scheming anything. I just want to get requested more. I'm really good at giving massages. I'll massage you anywhere you like. Well, how was that? Uh, the thing is, I <laughs> know. No, you can't thank me. I talked to my boss about picking up more shifts, but he said that he prioritizes younger women. Why is that in quotes? Like, I think they're probably literally just younger. How old are you? No, I want her to like me. Seriously, he didn't, just, he didn't have to say that right to my face. I mean, age has nothing to do with cleaning a room. And I look damn good for my age, if I do say so myself. The girls in my neighborhood always tell me I'm pretty. And the latchkey kid who lives next door always asks me to tie up her hair. Thanks to that, I'm an expert with these pigtails now. See? So I'm damn good for... Wait, don't tell me I'm the only one who thinks this way. Master, would you please give me your honest opinion? I look pretty good as a maid, don't I? You need to love yourself. <laughs> huh? I don't really feel like I'm worth being loved. That's so sad. Oh my god. But you're right. You go out of your way to request me, and all I do is sit here and vent to you. What the heck am I saying? I'm my student. My double life as both a teacher and a maid is so exhausting. Maybe I let my guard down because you know both sides of me. The more I come here, the more I feel like I can relax. As a maid, I'm supposed to help my master relax. But instead, I'm the one who's being helped. Sorry. Sorry, I'm such a terrible maid. Aww. All right. Uh, so I have to confess something. I lied about the reason why I need to make more money. I don't have a sick sister. All that stuff about the fees and charges was a lie too. 
<laughs> You're a bad teacher. Why did you lie to me? I can't get requested unless I make up those types of stories. See, you understand now, right? Nothing good will come from involving yourself with a terrible person like me. It's a good lesson learned. Let's just put an end to this. <sighs> Kind of sad. I mean, also really unethical. She also has a fortune reading for boosting um, your relationship stuff. stats are at if I'm like super close to anything. Some are close to knowledge, some are close to charm. Definitely close to proficiency. Definitely close to guts. Far away from kindness. Hmm. What's today? Today is so not Sunday for juice day. It's you. Let's hang out. Why? Oh my god, can you guys chill out, please? Slow down. Undergoing a bit of people watching. So beautiful, it titillates the imagination. Probably the art gallery? Or else the fish. Should I take them to the art gallery or to the aquarium? Head off. That's like the obvious. I feel like he would also appreciate the aquarium. Oh. There are twice as many people here as there are normally. The white noise caused by the crowd is quite pleasant, to be fair. It helps me hone my senses. If I close my eyes, it's almost as if I'm floating through space. There's no sound in space. <laughs> It is more a matter of your imagination. The sensation of melding into something larger than yourself is quite difficult to attain. Honestly, I sense something has changed within me due to our visit here. It seems my attitude toward art has shifted in some way. There's at least one uh, sea creature that Yusuke thinks is super beautiful. Although we're not to that point in the game yet. I'd like to show you one of my favorite works. A piece that makes you see something new upon each visit is immensely rare. I look forward to viewing what I may glean from it today, too. I hope you feel the same, Akira. To tell the truth, 
That painting from earlier has actually been made into a statue. This may be a mere replica, but I would like you to have it, Akira. Oh, a nude statue. <sighs> Aesthetically stimulating. Ooh, I feel like, uh... I got that silver bagel thinking about Yusuke. Backpack. Oh, that's for a traditional lady. Ooh, I also got this one for him. This! I've been struck with a bolt of inspiration. This color, it's beautiful. I must thank you, Akira. I feel as if I can further my art even more thanks to you. Nice. I really captured Yusuke's heart. Fascinating. I feel like Yusuke must have been a lot of fun for Mercer to voice. He's just so, like, over the top. Stop spending your money on me. Billiards. What are your thoughts? Too many options. This gets so hard. Umi. Gina. What are your thoughts? I'd probably get uh What are your thoughts? Points with everybody. Yes. I actually haven't done the billiards um anyone other that should do it for now than a catchy I wonder if there's an actual uh mini game thing I'll leave it to your imagination Not bad. Trophy earned. Sorry to interrupt your fun. Billiards has a lot of intricacies, doesn't it? I'm glad you've taken a liking to the game. If you'd like to learn more about it, a book! I think it's a specialty shop. I see. Ooh. See you later. Found a boarding goods store
I feel like um, if you have the speed reading, if you have like the speed reading ability, and you have books that are only like one time slot long, you should be able to read more than one. Since you be you can read a like two time slot book at in one go, you should be able to read two of like the one time slot books. I guess I haven't actually tested it, but I'm kind of just assuming that you can't. It has been two weeks! There's something I'd like to ask you. I don't care about that stuff. <laughs> Possible, it's easy. Medjed hasn't done anything public since they announced the cleanse. Could they be making preparations for that day? What are they planning? Time to put. go do home shopping. Phantom Thief set. Ooh, lockpick, vanish ball, smoke screen. Heroic set. Vacuum cutters, side wheel, and So what happens when you have somebody and you're just maxed with them? I guess I could take her to places, probably.
Let's do it. Something I would like to try painting. I'm in your debt. Nemo could cheer up art. Thank you. Thank you for your assistance today. After all, it would be impossible to sketch while rowing. <laughs> Why are we in a boat? I should bring a girl here. What? Girl? Does that mean you have a girlfriend? You should have mentioned sooner. I have missed the opportunity for a truly wonderful subject. That aside, I must thank you for your help today. This is the ideal location for my next boutique. Look at all the ducks! They're so cute! Don't get excited. You'll fall off, you know. Hmm. Perfect. This is it. My previous painting captured only one aspect of the heart, desire. As such, I was unable to arrive at a truly authentic representation. That is why we have come today. I shall paint a second aspect, the burning passion between man and woman. <laughs> Fittingly, our theme today will be the wonders of love. You too will have an important role here. While I draw, ensure the boat remains as steady as possible amid these devilish ripples. <laughs> ah, this angle. Incredible. <laughs> that bashful side profile, those moist eyes, their overflowing passion is wholly evident. They are akin to Adam and Eve, yet in time all lovers must come to know the pain of separation. Separation is the natural end to any such relationship, but even beyond that, love endures. Precisely. This is the truth of the human heart. It will make the most wonderful painting. It shall be adored by all who gaze upon it. It may even be given top prize in the next exhibition. Wait, now is not the time to be thinking of such trivial matters. Can you please remain still? <laughs> uh, what? Turn to your prior angle. I must capture your profile. What the hell are you doing? Rejoice, for I shall preserve your beautiful love so that all coming generations may bask in its glory. Once I complete this painting, you will become new legends in the art world. A modern Adam and Eve. Legends? Art? This dude's off his rocker. Come on, let's report him. Hold on a sec. Are you drawing us? What? You're using us as models? Yes. Man and woman intimately swaying in a dinghy of dreams. The blush of their cheeks. The bashful looks. Yes, this is the love I was so emphatically searching for. Love? Uh, I guess you could call it that, but it's kinda weird. It's familial love. This here's my sister. Ugh, I told you I didn't want to come here with you. The only ones who do this crap are stupid couples. But I've always dreamed of coming to Tokyo and riding a boat here. Though it was supposed to be with my boyfriend, not my brother. How could this be? Familial. So that overflowing passion was a, just a figment of my imagination? It seems my bias has caused me to overlook the truth of the matter. You have a wild... Love comes in all forms. Love is a broad, multifaceted beast. This only serves to prove how narrow my perspective can be. I see. Romantic love and familial love. The two may be nigh indiscernible depending on one's point of view. 
you know, that is not a road to go down. Hmm. Perhaps the truth of the heart lies in the eye of the beholder. Akira, I feel as though I've learned something today. She's so delightful. All right. Wait, so only couples ride these things, right? That means those two. There are people from all walks of life here in the city. Ooh, tell me more. What are they talking about? Let us return home. Oh well. Come, it is about time we return home. Please row us back to shore. See you. Pumper outside. It's a golden retriever going for a walk. Akira, thank you for all your help today. I've certainly come to realize my lack of experience. It would seem I understand nothing of love after all. Though I've progr progressed by one step, there is no doubt I will face many difficulties moving forward. When will I fully understand the heart? Even if I ever do understand it, will I truly be able to draw it? Just keep drawing. Yes, that's all I can do. There must be something that will come to mind as I continue to draw. Anyhow, today was a significant use of time. Impressive oarsmanship from your end as well. I hope I can count on your help next time as well. For now, farewell. Man, it's hot. They pretty much let you just rank up with Yoshida every time. Probably because you can only do him once a week. I also had like a lot of time to uh, do Yoshida. A gut spring. Yes, I did. Are they in both place and lines? If you want to live, put that pen to paper. How can I trust old man in a single month? Damn it, you're breaking up. I'll call back later. <sighs> Now I'm gutsy enough for EY. All right. Well then. Yeah, 
And imagine doing this on New Game Plus and you don't have to worry about, like, any of the social... <sighs> ...stats. I'm trying to think of what other... Hey. Stat locked confidant stuff is left. Um, Makoto gets locked by charm at a certain point. When we get Haru, she will be locked uh, by kindness, I think. Charm from Makoto. Ba, 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 ba. Hmm. Beyond the more historically renowned European arts, the works of South America are quite intriguing. Vibrant colors are integral to their unique style. You would never see such radiance in a Japanese work. Although I must say, your television fails to accurately reproduce their brilliant allure. I just suggest you perhaps invest in a newer model. If you pay for half. So that's what you mean. I will have to decline. That was quite the optimistic offer, Akira. Hmm. Either way, I am surprised you even managed to get your hands on such an old television. They always get so upset at Let not being able to here. stay forever. And I'm like, dude. Rain, huh? <laughs> hey, hell, frog. Hey, Brad, Badger Frog. Yo. Another box came for me. Hey! Oh! You must be having a date in the park with my eccentric art boyfriend. I have many boyfriends in this game. Jiro, Fumi, oh yeah. Our boyfriends are the worst. Uh, Yusuke is like very uh you mean you said how to fix shit? <laughs> uh, Yusuke is like super oblivious to everything except art. I think I will go. I think that I could unlock UI. I think that I'm gutsy enough now. So, this is the guy that we like sell shit to. He's like our item store. Um,. This is technically, this is like an airsoft shop. So we buy like model weapons. Like we don't buy real guns, we buy model guns. But when we're in the metaverse, because it's based on people's like perception and like inner psychology or whatever, they become real in your fantasy. Exactly. You're so smart. Oh my god. You're so on this. Um. <laughs> it's gonna lead to real violence. 
yeah, so we can shoot people in the metaverse with model guns and stuff. Um, and this is EY. He is our the super sketchy store owner, and he's full of uh, grunts. Um, let me actually, before I do that. All right. Okay, I don't think I have anything to sell to him. Oh, I can sell this. I guess that's fine. <laughs> I can remember a second. Well, they can't do it in real, like in our the regular world. She can only summon her motorcycle persona in the metaverse. everybody's in the best armor that I can put them in. Okay. I don't want to sell anything that I need. So, we meet him very early in the game, but you can only start his uh, confidant relationship once you get your guts to 4 out of 5, because he's scary. So, we can't ask him about this one thing. Okay. Until we have enough guts. You should be grateful. I guess that's fine. Spoiler alert. You should be grateful. May or may not. Be, uh, come again. Uh, X. Uh, what do you call it? Yukaza. was a custom gun that I modified to make it look as real as possible. I had a customer who was interested in it. You he helped me out by smuggling out of here so I didn't get caught by those detectives. You're an accomplice now, so don't go snitching. I got everything on my security camera. I'm interested in guns. <laughs> Want to talk in the back? Who the hell are you? Gun customization guru. Huh. Are you sure about that? You look like a beginner to me. How dare you? Hmm. Well, I guess you've got the heart of an enthusiast. A strange one, kid. He's so gruff. Wait a sec. <laughs> yeah, this could work. We're basically with him. We're gonna unlock like uh, weapon customization and upgrade stuff. Hey, I can grant that wish of yours, but you better have the money. These things are worth hundreds of thousands of yen per unit. <laughs> yes, he's selling airsoft stuff. It's an airsoft store, technically. Sometimes they even reach the millions, depending on how I feel. <laughs> Just let me buy them already. <laughs> You're not bluffing, are you, kid? <laughs> May actually make you more useful if you are. Look, I ain't a bad dude. I've been known to compromise from time to time. For example, you help me out with my business. Smuggling goods, destroying evidence, and as a reward, I'll introduce you to the special menu with good prices for a punk like you. What do you say? Not bad, huh? Do you ever just like watch a piece of media and you like know immediately what the fanfiction that exists is. <laughs> I'd rather not 
Don't be ridiculous. All we do in this game is break the law. Uh, what's your goal here? That's on a need to know basis, and you don't need to know. Gotta fight evil with evil. I need a pawn of my own. <laughs> yeah, BK do crimes. Don't talk to no one about this. Got it? Just follow my orders. We're phantom thieves, not phantom cops. Now what's it gonna be? You gonna take my deal or not? I'll do what I can. That's fine. Okay, I'll work on that special menu for you. You should be grateful. I actually, like I unlocked this when I played the original and I feel like I just didn't really get much out of it. Like, I never seem to have things that I could customize. It seems you had model guns in your possession as well. Their detail goes beyond a simple hobby. I'm sure some people believed those guns were real. You'll tell me how you procured them, won't you? This is one of the side moments that actually makes a lot of sense that she's asking about. So every time you start a confidant relationship, it flash forwards to this thing, because the whole game, most of the game is a flashback and you're like in police custody and she is a prosecutor and she's trying to get you to tell her the whole story of what's been happening. Um, and every time you start a confidant relationship with a character, it flashes forward and she's like saying something like, you clearly had someone helping you with X, whatever, you know, you're gonna tell me about who that was. And a lot of the times it like is kind of ridiculous that she's bringing it up uh, I'm trying to think of, like, when you make it with the thing with the fortune teller, and she's just like, you just got really lucky sometimes. How did you get so lucky? And it's just kind of really ridiculous. But him having, like, model, really realistic model weapons on his person when he was arrested actually makes sense to ask about. Spill it. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. I saw like a comic it on the Persona 5 subreddit. And it was just like a gag about activity. this whole thing. And it was With like the, the protagonist going to the persona, dentist. And then Sai was like, the your teeth look amazing. Who helped you? Power. And all your confidants are... Uh, Taro Arcana, and when I first played this, the original game, Tez would watch, and then uh, she would try to guess what Arcana people were gonna be when I first got them. All right. Oh yeah, when I don't got any business going on, I'll have you do some miscellaneous chores. Queen, run errands. There's plenty for you to do around here. Must be pretty exciting for an enthusiast like you, huh? Uh, the our fool, the fool Arcana is uh, he's like it's Igor who is the master of the Velvet Room. He's kind of like the metaverse, your metaverse person. Who lets you like handle persona and like make new persona and stuff hey really i think that the fool is always uh in pers the persona games is always like the protagonist you know in a way uh yeah yeah so the fool arcana so, like, most of the confidants, you basically, like, could make choices to go spend time with them, and that's how you rank them up. Some of them are, like, locked to the story. So the Fool Arcana, I think, is always locked to the story. Um, because it's either specifically the protagonist, or in this case, it's Igor, who is, like, 
the sort of main story guider. My god, all of these as long as it's safe. What's my first job? <laughs> Take it easy there, cowboy. Ooh, makeup time. Later. They just stop harassing me. Nice. Yusuke. My God, am I almost at max with Ryuji? Am I at eight or nine? I'm at eight. Protect. Skip what he wants to do. Let's hang Let out. us be off. Ooh, this is a. Uh, I didn't finish Yusuke's thing the last time, mm. but I did see this scene, which is a cool one. Our prior theme, love, it proved to be quite useful for me indeed. After our enlightening session, I once again attempted to paint. However, Nothing I put on the canvas was to my satisfaction. Before the gods of art, I am not but a lost sheep. Ah, yes, lost sheep. I have come here with you for precisely that reason. Indeed. Our theme today shall be anguish. I shall paint the anguish Christ felt as he bore the sins of mankind. I've seen various sculptures and paintings on the matter, but merely replicating them will not do. Would any believers be willing to model and help me capture the true essence of anguish? Seems not. Well then. My god, is he just- are there like people sitting in the pews, like praying, and he's just there? He would get kicked out. He would get removed from the church. Kira, you will have to be my model today. You want me to strip? Wow. Yes, that must be it! That is what I need- I knew he would like that. I knew he would like that answer. Only a subject, naked as the day they were born, can convey the true anguish of birth. Now then, strip. Look at his face. Take it all. Actually, perhaps not. Being found stark naked, naked in a church would be even bigger news than the Phantom Thieves. Now then. Let us begin. Show me a pose that will put the anguish of Christ on full display. This is another one of those uh, moments that would not happen. Not, it would not be written this way in a, a Western game. <laughs> I see. So this would be... No, perhaps... <sighs> oh, it seems this is not working. I would like to capture anguish, yet you remain calm and composed. Even the slightest wrinkle can change one's impression of things. I shall not compromise, even for this sketch. No. Raise your hands higher. Or give me more anguish. Bring it to its upper limits. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> the 
this position. So this is the passion of the Christ. Forsaken by his disciples, abhorred as a criminal by the public, pierced with nails and hung on the cross. I understand now. <laughs> this is the true anguish of the passion. It feels as though something is boiling up within me. What are you children doing? Oh, um, well, this is an art study. Art? That? I am attempting to paint anguish, so I decided to use the crucifixion of Christ as a point of reference. So you're interested in the anguish of the crucifixion? Hmm. While it is true that Jesus' crucifixion on the cross is a symbol of deep suffering, it also bears a much more positive message. One of resurrection, of forgiveness. Oh. Resurrection, forgiveness. I'm not sure I understand. Those ideas are contradictory to my conception of anguish. It may be difficult to grasp what I'm saying right now. But try to consider that the anguish one may feel today will someday bring forth new hope. Ah, and by the way, I suggest you contain your excitement while here. You may trouble the congregation. So these shocking depictions were actually meant to represent forgiveness, not pain. Hope from anguish. I'm not sure I understand. I must learn more about the hearts of men. Hira, do you think I will be able to capture the truth someday? I'm sure you will, buddy. Indeed. If I do not have belief in my own abilities, I will never come to accomplish anything. This is exceedingly strange, though. Spending time with you has helped me discover new aspects of myself. You are perhaps a mirror of sorts. I'm in your debt. If there is anything I can do in return, please let me know. I wish to repay your kindness. Everybody's always... On, like, oh my god, you have made me discover new parts of myself, and I'm like, I barely say anything. Ooh. That's a good All right. I mean, it would be a good ability if I made use of uh, his card creation hmm. stuff. <laughs> Farewell. Apologies for this call. Could I talk to you about something? Crucifixion supposedly symbolizes resurrection, forgiveness, and hope. But I could not grasp those connections. Once again, I made the same mistake of picking up on only the superficial meaning. The more I think about it, the further I seem to be from understanding the abyss of the heart. <laughs> Have to keep drawing. Yes, of course. He's <laughs> just nailing someone to a tree to make an example of them. I'm going about this the wrong way if all I do is sit and stew in my discontent. But perhaps it's time for me to switch up my way of thinking. I still have a tough road ahead, but talking to you gave me some relief. I'm truly fortunate to have you by my side. You're welcome, buddy. You hate me? <laughs> He's only one of my boyfriends. Man, it's hard. Um, there's also Ryuji, who's like the real boyfriend. Because he's your very first friend in the game. Uh, he's like your your angry jock boyfriend. So he's like all this <laughs> is an acceptable side chick. Yeah, I, I, I appreciate Yusuke just because of how extremely over the top he is. I just find him funny. Aw, hi Sarah, John, and Tiny.
also, Ryuji is like definitely Tez's favorite boyfriend. Um, because he's like super angry and but like in that way where he just wants to rush in and do the right thing all the time. He just gets angry about injustice in the world. He's the only valid boyfriend. Yeah, and Akechi is the uh I'm going to shrivel up. What do you say Akechi is? The worst boyfriend. <laughs> He's like hella into you. He's not in our Phantom Thieves team. Uh, he's actually like this high school detective that for some reason the police let help work on cases. Uh, so he actually does not know that you are a Phantom Thief and he's kind of publicly working against you. Um, you would definitely hate a catchy Hellfrog. Like, I'm literally now just imagining, um, because he's sucked. Yes, he's definitely a know-it-all. Oh my god. There's just, so, the woman that you saw in the flash forward, the prosecutor, Sai, uh, is real, I really like Sai. Um, she's, like, super comp competent. I want to say that she's, like, early 30s. She might be late 20s. But she and Akechi sometimes are working together-ish. And Akechi will like be a know-it-all to her, and I'm tr I like sit there and I just imagine what it would be like if some 17-year-old like asswipe was like, <laughs> maybe I should tell you what you're doing wrong at your job. I'd be like, I would murder you. <laughs> um, you really have to imagine it. <laughs> So yeah, I'm imagining you watching an Akechi scene and how much you would definitely hate him. Um, this is just this fortune teller that I don't care about as a character, but some of her confidant abilities that you get for ranking up this relationship are pretty good. So I'm gonna do it. Hello there, Mufune-sensei. I can't wait for today's session. Your last prediction was practically perfect. She is pretty cute. By the way, um, who is this boy? Oh, you needn't mind him. That's just my apprentice. If anything, you can think of him as a human-sized stuffed animal. I mean, look how fluffy his hair is. Wait. So he's okay with working for a woman, even though he's a guy? The weird question. Something like that is just unthinkable in my line of work. Um, I take that to mean something else has happened with your job? 10 points to brutal emasculation. A male coworker of mine was given all the credit for- Ugh. That's bullshit. He said it was just the natural order of things because I'm a woman. How terrible. That's why I'm thinking of leaving and starting up my own business. I've actually been planning for some time. I'm not sure if we'll be able to find a foothold in the market, though. Here we go. In that case, let's ask the tarot. Show us the truth, though divine power. So her deal is that she super believes in fate and, like, she has... You know, in the game, she has, like, actual, uh, uh, an actual gift for the tarot. And, but she, we met her because one of her clients was in a really bad spot, and Shihaya was like, you need to break up with your abusive, abusive boyfriend or bad stuff's gonna happen. And she's like, but I don't want to break up with him. So we just went and cheated and, like, went into the metaverse and changed her boyfriend's heart so that he stopped being so terrible. So we like changed fate. So now she's very like, how did you do that? She believes in fate. I've seen everything. Hmm. The cards have appeared in reverse. Is this? In other words, it 
seems as though your business is doomed to failure. No, what should I do? I'm sorry. In this case, it appears your fate is inescapable. Inescapable? What are your thoughts? Were you even listening? What shall we do? What can we do to help this woman who is so oppressed by the savagery of a male-dominated work environment? Come to camp, girl. Change your boss's heart. Hmm? I'm not sure I understand what you mean by that. As such, I would suggest you think of something else. I have the power to curse you permanently, you know. Still all men. a little idealistic to expect that will actually work. Fight the power. Um. Overturn your fate. Oh my god. Overturning fate? That's right. I don't have to follow the rules of this oppressive society. I can do it. I'll reshape every aspect of my antiquated industry. My mind is made up. I'm going to quit my job and set off on my own private pri private business venture. Even if I fail, at least I won't be wasting away doing busy work for that sexist bastard anymore. What? Yeah, you go. Elliot's going to be the king. The sequence of cards has changed. Her financial future is now appearing as extremely successful. What did you do? Are you psychic? Did you use your powers to change the order of the cards? My divine power is capable of sending people like you down to the depths of hell you know. I'm just super encouraging. Open your mind to change. May not be such a bad idea. But if that possibility were the truth, how would I keep my holy stone business intact? Anyway, you've changed the flow of destiny twice now, both times coming before my very eyes. That'd be helpful. It seems this verification process is turning out to be much more meaningful than I expected. to get the boost to your friendship goals. I'm just not convinced about what happened today. So I'm going to get right to my question. You're currently standing right in front of your house, correct? Are you stalking me? What? Nonsense! My reading just ended up being accurate. But surely you understand now. Fate is absolute. Everyone could reverse their fate as easily as flipping a table. Life would be easy. This is why I believe I need to conduct these verifications with you. So please promise me you'll stop by my booth again.
Hmm. I'm gonna go think on the toilet. I'm close to knowledge. Definitely close to charm. Definitely close to proficiency. Hey, Yam. <laughs> Listen, thinking on the toilet tells me how close I am to improving certain social stats. It's a totally normal thing. Normal mechanic. Don't make it weird. <laughs> Just like IRL. What can I get you? Ah, give me more books. Monsters. What if I went and I got her cool reading? Is this? What shall we do? So I'm going to see. to do this and then I'm gonna play billiards. What do you think? And I'm basically gonna try to see Ryuji and An are both like not ready to rank up, so I'm wondering if I can play billiards with them and like give them both some Welcome! What do you play? At a sports shop. Hmm. What do you want to do? Hold on. What do you play? Hey. Let me see if there's a sports shop around here. I think that I saw one. Like, what is this? Is this crystals? <laughs> this is important grocery. <laughs> You're not even. I am just so entertaining. I know. I'm sorry. Oh, it's my buddy. It's my trade buddy. Exorcism water. Model gun. Give me that. I'll do it in the evening. I mean, it's not gonna help me to go buy it now. Welcome! What do you play? What do you wanna do? Thank you! So, I did the reading with Chihaya oh. to try and make my charm more likely to increase. Wow! Is this gonna be a mini game? This is. I guess it's wow. not. I think I rank up. All right. That was so much fun. See ya. I 
guess I can like go into the palace soon. Rain, huh? How are you? Oh, Tommy is ready to rank up. The Pinky is ready to rank up. Um, let me go to. I was gonna go to the mall. I think there's a sports store in the mall here. Over yes, there it is. What else should I Welcome. There we go. What? I can just buy. I wonder if these, like, this and the book just increase your effects with billiard stuff. spent all of my money. God, Hellfrog's gonna be so horrified by Kawakami. Gorilla maid of the maid world. You understand what I told you last time, right? And you still want to request me? Hey! <sighs> Fine. I guess I'll have to talk to you properly about it. Just wait for me there. So this is our teacher, Jeez. who also moonlights as a maid. Are you serious? I told you that the story about my sick little sister was a lie. You know you're being used for money, and you still request me? Oh my god. I want to know more. <laughs> she's telling this kid she's a maid. <laughs> oh yeah, it's definitely- I, I'm not in a brothel, I'm in my room. So this whole thing starts because Ryuji finds like this flyer for a maid service and he's like, oh my god, we should call it uh, <laughs> a little bit of a brothel. And so we call it um, and she shows up and uh, Ryuji and this other guy that 
Mishima, who was there with us, get like chicken out and they hide. So you're the only one who's there. And then like you kind of start to recognize her and you're like, oh, it's my teacher. And then that starts and it's super awkward. Also, please note that all of the female confidants are romanceable. Oh, it's definitely not just for cleaning, Yam. What good would that do? You really are one strange kid. I'm a mediocre teacher and a mediocre maid. Man, I also wish we could romance the dudes. Yeah, she listened to everything I have to say. You're the complete opposite of me. I don't even properly attend to my students' needs. So, the money is actually an apology. Calm down, said teacher. <laughs> there was a student named Takase at a, the school I taught at before Shujin. Takase-kun was considered a problem child, since he had the lowest grades and skipped school a lot. So I was put in charge of guiding him, or rather, pushing him to transfer to another school. But when I got to know him, I realized that he wasn't a problem child after all. In fact, he was working several part-time jobs just so he could cover his living expenses. His relatives took him in when his parents died, so he had to make money to support himself. That does not follow. If his relatives took him in, then he should not have to make money to support himself. He couldn't attend school every day, but he was motivated to study. That's why I decided to tutor him. After I started working with him, his grades started to improve, slowly but surely. But I was told that it was wrong to only help certain students and not others. And a strange rumor about him being a juvenile delinquent began to circulate. And on top of that, I got called into the principal's office. He threatened me, saying that I'd be dismissed if I continued to tutor Takase-kun. How terrible. Yeah. But you could say the same about me. I got scared. Of losing my job and of having rumors spread about me. So I cancelled our upcoming tutoring sessions. Takase-kun was on his way to one of those to one of his part-time jobs when I told him. Out of all days, it was New Year's Eve, and it had been pouring rain all day, and he died in a car crash. He sounded so depressed when I told him I couldn't tutor him anymore. But then he said it was no big deal because he had to work anyway, so I wouldn't feel bad. I had kept my promise to him. It's not your fault. Takase-kun was exhausted from the tutoring sessions and working at all his part-time jobs. His guardians blamed me for the accident, saying it was all my fault that he was so tired. They said that they were going to sue me and take the issue to the media and board of education. I wouldn't have been accused of a crime, but if word had gotten out, the school would have been done for. I wanted to continue teaching no matter what. So I ended up paying them the apology money so they wouldn't sue me or say anything. Guardians, huh? Sounds like some people. I can go into their psyche and make them different. Yeah. I mean, clearly his guardians are just concerned about money. It was my indecisiveness that backed him into a corner, and I blame myself every day. I know paying them isn't going to bring him back, but it's the only way I can atone for my sins. It seems like his guardians are satisfied with our arrangements, so... See, nothing good ever comes from getting involved with me. I have to keep my distance to avoid hurting others, so I don't meddle in my students' lives. I've been coming here because of a random twist of fate, but we should say goodbye as well. I want to see you again. Kurusukun. 
you're really not the type to back down, are you? I guess we're in this together, now that I told you the whole story, right? Yeah. I'll see what I can do about the other teachers, so you get free periods with them, too. I look forward to continuing our relationship. It's not that kind of thing. So, Kawakami fixing is that her abilities basically give you more free time to do things. Um... Alright. So, we will get... Uh, free time in classes and we can choose to use that time to do other things. Oh my, this room is so dusty. Even though I wipe this place squeaky clean every visit. Well, I guess it's all for you, master. I'll work hard to earn my keep. I think she's just sick. Hmm. So dusty. If my cough is already this bad, maybe we'd be better off tearing this place down than trying to clean it. Well, the shabby- I mean, chicness of this room is truly its charm, so let's keep it as is. <laughs> she also, like, doesn't really do any maid work when you invite her over. Thank you so much! She's always like, can you clean it up before I get there? That is so soul draining. You live in that cafe right now? You want some? What are you confused about, Yam? It totally makes sense. <sighs> yeah, Morgana's so cute. ready to rank up. I think I'll do that especially because Yusuke Fine. is probably... yeah. Well then. So Yusuke was the art pupil of the second like boss that you fight, uh, who was like this old, renowned artist who was actually like stealing his students' work, um, and like treating them really abusively. And you find out that his uh, first big famous painting, was, which is Sayuri, which is this painting, um, he actually didn't even paint that. So. Uh, this painting was what inspired Yusuke to become an artist in the first place. Um, except that we find out that this painting was actually painted by Yusuke's mom way back in the day. And that's like baby Yusuke in this woman's arms. But in the painting that his uh, mentor put out to the world, he like took the original and he painted over the baby so that like there was like this big mystery of like what is the woman looking at or whatever and <clears throat> so when you beat when we beat that boss uh when you beat a palace boss you like steal their treasure and then you bring it back to the real world and it becomes some sort of like real item um so this is what we brought back kind of like the original version of Sayuri 
and it's like one of my favorite it's probably my favorite of the treasures that you bring back because it has like a real character meaning and I just really like that uh, Yusuke gets to because he like loses like he was raised by this guy too like his art mentor Madarame um, who actually kind of like let his mother die which you also find out so he like loses his only father figure um but instead of having kind of like the sayuri tainted he gets to find out that it was actually like the work of his mom so it was actually his mom's work that inspires him to be an artist um well whenever you finish a palace and you beat a boss what happens is that uh their distorted desires uh are taken away and then they feel uh the weight they're like changed so they don't have those desires to be terrible anymore but they still feel the weight of all of the stuff that they did so they are so overcome with guilt that they publicly confess to their crimes and turn themselves in so Madarame uh confessed like on live television and turned himself into the police yeah jail I think we're gonna go hang out with Makoto. That is so much rain. Makoto is one of my favorites. Hey. Huh? I see. They always give me a hard time when they're like, we haven't finished the palace yet. And I'm like, Please chill out. Uh, well, feels like I just don't know anything anymore. Let's talk more in the student council room. We can get in through the back entrance. She's the student council president. <sighs> so my class had a practice entrance exam, and my score was significantly lower than last time. I'm concerned. It's unlike you. Couldn't agree more. Actually... Short-haired girls named Makoto have no chill. Makoto actually has a lot of chill. Uh, the, the idea is more that she's actually... She gets really sad at one point because she's like, People think I uh, make jokes that I'm like a robot. And you're able to respond beep boop. And she gets sad about it. <laughs> Um, because she's very, like, analytical, but obviously she's harboring all of this anger from adults being terrible to her, like all of the other Phantom Thieves, so. Recently I've started questioning the entire point of my education. What do I stand to gain from getting good grades and living up to the high expectations my sister has set for me? I spoke to Aiko about this matter as well, but the answer hasn't become any clearer. My god, it's the girl from the last time! God, Akira. You don't remember her? Aiko Takao. We asked her about the job she has at the salon in, Shin in Shinjuku. Anyway, we've been calling each other every so often since we exchanged contact information. Because of those calls, we've actually grown somewhat close. She has a friend. And I like that she becomes friends with Aiko because Aiko is very, uh, uh, very different from Makoto. So it's nice that they, like, become friends. Oops. When I voiced my concerns to her, she asked me how I would benefit from going to a top university, but I couldn't come up with a good answer. As for Aiko, her grades are not the best. But she claims she doesn't even think about that stuff. Apparently her parents can use their connections to find her a job. Hmm. But isn't that a little irresponsible? It's nice she can rely on her parents, but this is her life, not theirs. I guess that's just a different way of approaching things. Even at that, her vision of the future is still clearer than mine. Do you have goals? I used to think doing what others expected of me was the best way forward. 
I was going to major in law, just like my sister did. And after that, I would simply have headed down whatever path society had made for me. But... But everything changed when I joined the Phantom Thieves. I've realized now... I've realized now there are more important things in life than being a prim and proper honor student. Honestly, I would have looked down on Aiko's line of thinking in the past, but I know better now. <laughs> she must have known I was talking about her. Lately, aiko has been telling me whenever she buys makeup or finds a cute new outfit. That reminds me. She asked me the other day what hand cream I use. I sent her a picture, and it's apparently the same brand they use in the nurse's office at school. That's adorable. I'm not so sure about that. Look how cute she is. She told me I'm like a middle-aged man in the body of a high school girl. Regardless, that stuff works wonders for dry skin, and it's great value too. Actually, my father used to use it all the time. Did I ever tell you he was a police officer? He detested the corruption in our society and worked tirelessly to bring it to justice. But despite the rough exterior, he was extremely gentle deep down. That reminds me. I was little. I told him I wanted to grow up to be a police officer, just like he was. He was glad to hear me say that, but quick to point out that he didn't want me doing something so dangerous. I had completely forgotten about that dream, to be honest. I <laughs> like a woman uniform. It's an amazing goal. You're right. I suppose. Either way, after everything that happened, I have no intention of working with the police. Besides, they're trying to stop the Phantom Thieves. What am I supposed to do? Arrest myself? Hmm. I think I need to re-examine what my goals for the future are, outside of just plain studying. Thank you very much. You know, it feels like I remembered something important today thanks to you. I guess you could say my viewpoint has been broadened yet again. Yes, Makoto is precious. All right. A lot of her confidant stuff is about, hey. like, trying to sort of broaden her experiences, um, and kind of learning to like not look down on people as much who don't have like the exact same sorts of goals that she has and I actually think it's kind of really sweet you know it's not about her sort of like overhauling herself and becoming like other people <clears throat> but she like develops appreciation for all different kinds of people I only just learned recently that a chemise is now called a camisole, and a button-down sweater is a cardigan. Why does the same thing have to have multiple names? I guess in the end, I'm just becoming more aware of how little I really know. So, please, help me keep fighting back against that ignorance. I'll she's just like... Later. She's that, you know, that girl from high school who was just like entirely focused on academics. Um, so didn't really have ex get to experience uh, all different uh, sorts of you're things. Back. Yoshida. Check. Can I do anything with the... Yeah. Mm. 
Yo. All right. All right, which one? A handgun? Well, that's your basic sidearm. Easy to aim, and you can give it a little more power if you reinforce the receiver. But... Now, once you put some accuracy mods on a handgun, it's easier to go right for the vitals. I knew a guy who could line up a kill shot in .2 seconds flat. Or <laughs> well, a shotgun's a classic. You've got your power, you've got your scatter shot. But if you upgrade the receiver, you'll see some real fireworks. <laughs> but if you get a balancer on that slingshot, it might be even more accurate than a gun. You like sharp shooting? Go nuts. I feel like he would be like, why do you, why are you bringing a slingshot in? Rifles are generally used for shooting games at summer festivals, but pistols are a better choice for that distance. My inclination is to just try and upgrade everybody with power, because accuracy is for losers. Uh -huh, that's a very serious expression. Take your time and look around. Well, maybe not for Yusuke, because that's really bad accuracy. for her. Uh, you must be scheming to do something. A handgun? Well, that's your basic sidearm. Easy to aim, and you can give it a little more power if you reinforce the receiver. Mm, that one's good. Nice. If you want accuracy, then I'd say don't use a shotgun. But what you can't, that's what you choose to your thing. It's actually uh, a lot. You'd be surprised how powerful these things get if you upgrade the frame. Mm, uh, good. Uh, more valuable because in the original version of the game, you got like one clip of ammo for an entire visit to the metaverse, and now you get an entire clip of ammo per battle, uh, which is like a very dramatic difference. That's what your true short thing. It's really hot outside. Makes me want to blast a big boar. I think I'll give him accuracy. Mm, that's good. You want it more accurate. Kind of missing the point of a revolver, but I guess if you're going for one of those quick draw cowboy duels, that's what you're sure thing. hang out with Yoshida and then maybe I'll go into the palace tomorrow <laughs> everyone uh, so this is this is Bernie we like to call him Bernie uh, because he is a very idealistic politician <laughs> um, in a very similar style as Bernie Sanders What kind of friends do you spend your time with? You can withstand difficult times if you have friends who support you through them. I'll be giving a speech again today. I'd also like you to come with me somewhere after the speech. Help him out. Actually. Actually, Diet Man Matsushita asked me to meet after this. You remember how he asked me to become his right hand man? Well, he likely wants my answer. I'll need you to come with me after the speech. So he's like a washed up politician. What's wrong? Uh, he was in the the diet, which I think is their like it's their legislative branch. Uh, so he was like in their their Congress like 20 years ago. Um, and he got kind of caught up in a scandal and was like disgraced. And he didn't he wasn't doing anything wrong. I don't think. 
um, he actually, I think that you actually kind of find out that he gets, uh, he was maybe framed a little bit, but he got disgraced for the whole thing. And now it's 20 years later and he's trying to get reelected. And he's very much about like protecting the people and how the government is failing them and all of that. What did you ask me here to discuss? I heard you met with Kuramoto's grandson. You have your ears to the ground, huh? And to think that he's the candidate the party is backing to ruin my chances of winning. I'll be completely straight with you, since I already asked you to be my right-hand man. We're currently fighting the Kuramoto group. What? You're fighting with Mr. Kuramoto? I have ambitions of my own, you know. I owe him for all he did for me, but I don't want him to have influence over me forever. So this is an old, like, political buddy of ours. Of Yoshida's. Um, and he wanted Yoshida to, like, basically come work with him and be his right-hand man. Um, but Yoshida's still like, I really want to get back into, you know, being a di in the diet myself. So he kind of declined. All the more. Now that he's secretly working with diet members from all the part from other parties. I know he asked you to join his group, but I think you should decline his offer. Hmm. Hmm. They want to keep you on a leash, so you won't reveal any damaging information. The real culprit of the expense misappropriation case you were blamed for is old man Kuramoto. What in the world? What did you say? I searched through the party's off-the-record accounts from 20 years ago. There's no doubt. Can you still forgive him? He led you into the political world and kicked you out in the worst way. But why? Seems he bought his popularity, and as a result, he was having some serious financial trouble. I see. It sounds as if you're saying that this is my opportunity to clear my name. And so you need an answer from me on whether or not I'll be your right-hand man, yes? His own grandson has already tried to persuade you. Therefore, I can't work. I can't wait any longer. If you join me, you can accuse K Kuramoto of his crime. You can clear your name and put no good Torah behind you. This is your best and last chance. Join with Matsushita and take my revenge against Mr. Kuramoto, but drop out of the election. <laughs> like keeping off the record accounts for 20 years is not the best strat. Uh, yeah, probably. So, like, basically, this whole confidant, uh, line, we just repeatedly tell Yoshida, like, to not take people's deals, because really, we're just encouraging him to, like, keep, stick to his principles and convictions. That's a difficult decision. Yes. To say the least. Matsushita. I appreciate the offer, but I must refuse. You have no conceivable reason to refuse. My goal is to become a member of the Diet, not a right-hand man. I will not cast aside my beliefs. On that I stand firm. This information would be the deciding factor in taking down Kuramoto. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. I was simply offering you a deal. I assumed you might decline it. Very well. Please forget it. I apologize for bringing it up so suddenly. I'll talk to the party and provide support for your next speech about the Phantom Thieves. Hmm? Why are you doing this? I don't want to- I don't want to debate about the Phantom Thieves. I simply want to draw attention to them. And you can assert your innocence there, on a grand stage. To be frank, I'll be happy as long as the Kuramoto group's influence diminishes. Rusukun, don't speak a word of this to anyone, for both our sakes. Very well, then. <sighs> Feels like I'm caught in the crossfire of, of a political conspiracy. My friend is trying to take advantage of me, while my former mentor is trying to win me over. To achieve my dream, I have to set aside my beliefs. 
should I do? Stick to your beliefs. Yes. You're right. Betraying myself means betraying my supporters, which also means betraying you. Become <laughs> cam girls. My god, they can't all become cam girls. For some reason, just talking with you always helps me make up my mind. As if my heart is being manipulated. <laughs> A weird way to put it. If the Phantom Thieves truly do exist, and I'm sure they're very much like you. For some reason, you stood by me. No good Torah, who didn't have any supporters. Actually, I've been thinking about this for a while, actually. You must have experienced cruelty and injustice in this life. I can tell by the look in your eyes. That's why I sense your desire to help the weak. And the strength to stand up to the hecklers, to Matsushita, and to Kuramoto's grandson. You're no ordinary high school student. Even I know that much. Hey. Do you care to talk about it? Well, what if you're right? Aww. Um, a lot of this game is like adults failing the children that they're responsible for. Um, like all of the phantom thieves have been deeply betrayed by adults who were responsible for them. And especially at the start of the game, all of the adults are so mean to you. But Yoshida is always really nice to you. <laughs> Just a joke. Sorry, I crossed the line there. I've always lacked restraint in these situations. See what I did there? I relieved the tension by making fun of myself. Thinking, Think of it as an advanced technique for winning people over. <laughs> Ask you again another time. Yay, charm. Well, then, I'll see you again. Goodness, I've gotten you wrapped up in my whole messy past now. I told you before. Becoming a diet member shouldn't be your only goal in life. I will stand by those words, of course. But what are your thoughts on what happened today? Say you were in my shoes. Could you say with all confidence that you wouldn't be swayed by such a lucrative deal? Humans are easily swayed. One glimpse of a temptation could be all it takes to make us forget our principles. That is why you must never forget what's truly important to you. You understand? I'll never forget that. Good. Life is full of tough decisions. I can only hope today's lesson will nourish your growth. Well, the real battle begins now. I need to devote myself to this fully. After all, I can hardly afford to disappoint you. Alright, see you next time. I'll be counting on you. running out of time. Would you really be okay if Medjid goes through with their plan? Can't let that happen. Yes, what is Medjid going to do? Who knows? You're a hacker too. Shouldn't you be able to tell? I'm appalled that you would treat me like them. You both seem the same to me. In that case, care to elaborate on the differences between you? They're small timers, not remotely worth caring about. You're really saying that the famous international hacking organization is small time? You're quite confident. 
So putting a halt to their plan should be easy for you, yes? Don't ask such obvious questions. Anyway, I don't want to keep repeating myself. But if you fail to uphold your end of the bargain, I will not help you. On top of that, I'll leak your identities to the public as well. At this point, you have no other options. And no more time. Just hurry up and do what you said you would do. Alibaba's right. There's no other way forward for us. If we don't do something about Futaba, Medjed will destroy our reputation. More importantly, we'll probably all end up arrested. Probably not you, Morgana. You're a cat. Yeah, okay. I guess we will do this. Let's go. Okay. Time for Pyramid World. Oh. All right. Oh my God, Let's tense. start today's job. I'll just add this. get into the pyramid. Still won't open. We might just have to give up on it. No point sitting around though. What do you want to do? Um, let's look for another entrance. For real? See you again. Yeah. Oh, uh, I wonder why. I can't believe you tried to crush us <laughs> with an effing boulder. Let Ryuji say fuck. You want us to steal your goddamn treasure or not? Hmm. Why don't we make a deal? You wish to proceed further, yes? A deal, you say? There is a town nearby. I would like you to take back that which the bandit there stole from me. Oh yeah, I think I remember seeing a town on the way here. If you bring what was stolen back to me, I will give you a reward. I'll even tell you how to proceed. Can't you tell us any more details? Anything about this bandit or what was stolen? You'll learn all the information you need to know once you arrive. We'll need to head outside if we want to go to the town. We can go when you're ready, Joker. Okay. Hmm. 
so how are we supposed to get to this town? She said it's nearby. We could probably see it from here, right? Yes. Good point. Let us observe the surroundings and search for any towns that may li lie about here. What's up here? Slide down. <gasps> Wee! That was fun. No, pointless, but uh, definitely fun. Hey, isn't that a town off in the distance? Yes, I can see what appear to be buildings over there. What do you want to do? Want to head over to that town? Let's go. We're gonna bus. So our cat, the cat, is in love with An, who is super okay. oblivious. Good work. Keep it up. I have something. This. It's just scenery, apparently. Castle, welcome back to the street. The enemy is weak, but wind won't do much to it. Nice. No sudden move. Fucking love guys who are weak to gunfire. Um, I was supposed to have some ability. My grappling hook to ambush people now, but I don't know how to do it. Okay. I can feel it. Oh. I think there's a corner that I can hide. Yeah. 
what even is this? Shadow ahead. Take caution. Show me your true form. Strange Journey. Uh, no. Okay. I have not ever played that. I am now I'm not sure if I know I. what that game, what game that is. I don't know if I'm familiar with it. Not bad. Oh, no, I haven't played any uh, SMT games for on the DS. Okay. I have played Persona 4 Golden, Persona 5, and now, uh, Royal. Focus. It's somewhere. I forget what I'm supposed to, uh... I think if I just wander around enough, I eventually find what I'm looking for. <laughs> kind of Pokemon-y. I mean, even this is kind of pokemon -y. Welcome to the desert, fellow trader. What? I like how he just runs in front of us. I think I need to get him in there, and then I do this. Oh, bandit! What's the matter? Not running anymore? Don't even think about coming one step closer. Let's talk. I mean, you guys came to raid the tomb too, right? 
Why don't we work together and share the plunder? Sorry, I'm at my limit. Persona! Ravage them! Yes, the clean hit! Persona! Feel my dream! Did it. Stolen papyrus. All right! Oh, he dropped something. Is this some kind of papyrus parchment? It looks like there's something written inside. Uh, no peeking at a girl's belongings without her permission. You know, just what the hell's happening in her heart? There's this bandit, those weird voices saying you killed her. Who knows what else? A total freaking mess. Mm, that means... So does this mean that even though she's the palace ruler, she can't control what happens in here? I don't know. I've never seen a case like this. So, usually for most of the palaces, um, like, the palace ruler really appears as, like, a ruler, um, you know, of the whole domain. Well... Cat bus. But Futaba is unique in this regard. Um, you know, in part because she requested us to steal her heart. How far in are you? Um, if it were the original game, I would say, uh, I would say about halfway-ish, uh, but I don't know about this game, because there's more content. I spent about 130 hours on the, uh, the original game. long game. We're back! 
This is the thing you said they stole, right? Well done. It is yours now. Thanks? Wait, what? Didn't you want us to get it back because it's important? That is a map of the tomb, stolen by the bandit to aid in his ransacking of this place. Why are you letting them just do whatever they want? This is your palace, isn't it? All that matters is that the map is now yours. Just come further in and... Oh. What in the... Huh? Futaba-chan dis... God damn it! Is this... Quicksand! Everyone, swim with all your might! Hey, you guys still alive? Ow! First a boulder, then this. That uh, did we piss her off somehow? Yeah, I spent a similar amount of time on uh, Persona 4. But now I'm curious. Just like check my uh, video collection on Twitch. Yeah, Persona 5, 131 hours. Persona 4, 115 hours. I don't think it has anything to do with us angering her. I suspect the problem is that she can't control her instinct to push people away from her. Simple defense mechanism. I am 62 hours uh, about into Considering this. what she's been through, I don't blame her for mistrusting others. Joker, let's save her. We've got to help Futaba-chan open the door to her heart. Of course. I have no objections, but we should worry about ourselves first and foremost. Come on, let's look for a way back above ground. Otherwise, this place is going to end up our tomb, too. I can feel it. Okay. Reveal your Ooh. true form. How do I speak? Hey, a rare one. Don't let it get away. Nice. We are the better fighters. Use fire attacks to hit its weak point. Oh my god, that was like the most useful one it could do that for, too. Her skills are ineffective. Stay focused. Persona! Charge, Johanna! Chance to, to all foes. High chance to one foe. I think I'll just go ahead and uh Alright. It's somewhere. There's a treasure chest. I think I have to go up and around. Your chest
weak. I'll reveal your true form. That one is no joke. Be careful. He's like, what? I'm shocked. This outcome. <laughs> Why you? Oh, no. on the ground. <laughs> Not you could do it, Fox. Join my cause. That's the treasure chest over there that we're missing. I can't believe that I can't jump over this. Like, are you kidding? Let's see it. Here, chest. <laughs> right? I'm like, come on. Down this way. Which way am I supposed to go? You <laughs> die of sand poison. Get me. I'll there we go. Your true okay, form. so it just shows up as like a regular ambush. The first move is ours. Why are they all? Oh, that's right. I'd forgotten that when you uh, use this version of the ambush, that it's that's some good loot. Uh, it gives them those status effects. Uh, well. Let's pull back for now. Okay.
like right below me. It is. Give it to me. Okay, is that the chest that I was trying to get to? Was it <laughs> down here? There's a treasure oh, chest. There it is. Come, let's feed. <coughs> I have something. Okay, but I also have it. Escape from underground. Hey, Narsen. We are in a pyramid. Show me your true form. Just uh, working our way through these mummies. Her skills are ineffective. Stay focused. Persona! Not on the it's yours. Some weird alien energy battery. Back up this way. Shadow ahead. Take caution. Here. Show me your true form. Okay, so I think that the uh, grappling hook around there probably must not be able to do some hiding. Yes. Do I have okay, I have a 
single. I don't have a multi wind. I should probably uh, Thank you. go and uh, stock up on medicine. It's time. You're mine. It isn't a major threat, but don't use electric attacks. Let's go. Take this. Oh my God, how do they keep? keep to play. Yeah! Victory! Okay. Okay. Oh, hey. I need to go down? I don't think so. No, I've already been down there. Look! Chef! Take these guys out. Swap out. We're hitting a number of enemies with wind and All right. uh easier than cleaning my brushes. What is that sound? I guess it's just a palace.
am glad that they make that so easy to swap party members. And that's not like one of those things where you can only do it at the save point or whatever. Okay. Strong shadow ahead. We should be careful. I spotted a strong one. Show me your true form. We're gonna murder the heck out of him. All right, you do this. The first move the opponent is strong. Don't do anything reckless. Witness my resolve. Ha! You should have done it. Resets the bell. Bell of this Time. This is how I really feel. Okay, we're gonna <laughs> skip it. Perfect. <laughs> Losers. Yeah. I'm glad that they let you skip it. So I assume it's gonna come up more and more. Power courses through me. I'd like to try this skill soon. Speed master. like never end up using this. But I could also like this is medium physical to all foes and this is medium physical with a chance of sleep. So we probably don't need both. I'm surprised that this has a lower cost uh, than this. Like 
they're both medium physical, like it should be the same strength, right? Nothing. No, that was just okay. I'm gonna go. Hey, <laughs> we're gonna go talk to this guy. Hmm. What? Where am I supposed to go? Not the coward. What do, what do you want from Somewhere. me? Somewhere. Oh. This was a different place. Not the same place. Far enough away. Except for All right, the first move is ours. <laughs> oh no! Win with wind attacks. Oh, I did the wrong way. Just take him. Does that work? <laughs> yeah, the number of times that I like look at uh, enemies' affinities and then attack Joker. them with something they're resistant to is greater than okay. zero. Let's actually go hop into the velvet room, which is has an alarm. Let's do right it. Now. Do you need something? There you are, inmate. Our master admires the progress of your rehabilitation, and hence has given you use of a special ritual. It's the gallows, used to strengthen persona abilities. Gallows are good. Any further questions regarding this ritual can be directed toward our master himself. He's apparently gonna consider making even more rituals if your rehabilitation goes as planned. Work hard for it, inmate. I'll just add this. So Gallows is basically sacrificing one persona to 
uh, strengthen another one. Pursue rehabilitation with all your body and soul. Justine, this registration, yes? You wish to register it to the compendium? There is an alarm in effect. Today we will hang them more forcefully. This is its powered up form. This will become an even more powerful accessory. OMG, what is it? Buster. This weapon is more powerful than normal. Oh. <laughs> uh, which voice actor? Uh, or which, which character's voice actor? Hmm. The one that just talked? Oh. Yeah. The twins. Be stronger than normal. The resulting card may be different than usual. Prepare for the this is an alarm fusion. Is this one okay, yeah, it's the medium. Searching. I see. This is certainly a powerful persona. Who's the hermit? Oh, it's Futaba. It's like, I don't have any. Certainly a powerful persona. That's a pretty strong one. But he's so cute. So I really like, uh, I see this. That's a pretty strong one. Hamlin. Why well, I get like attached to personas and then I don't want to, um, use them. I'm like, no, but I like her. Probably makes sense. I see. This is certainly a powerful persona. That's a pretty strong one. To do the one with her and like kind see. of have him. This is certainly a powerful persona. Replace as a physical. Strong one. I see. This is certain. That's a pretty strong one. I see. Just wanna focus this is certainly a powerful persona. Focus into strength. That's a pretty strong one. I see. This is certain. That's a pretty strong one. Okay, let's do that. 
choose which skills to inherit. <laughs> You're so glut mouth. Actually, I wonder if that would be a better uh, one to pick. It's a really good one. There's the one here. Light physical one to three times. Choose which skills to inherit. This should be get a respectable well well. Um, I kinda want those. I don't want a light physical at this point. Exist here. See, this is certainly a powerful persona. Wait, did I use? Ugh. Choose wisely. Always strive for more. This will become an even more powerful accessory. This will become an even more powerful accessory. This will become an even more powerful accessory. Hmm. One of my faves, a group, will be executed. Get ready for this! Strong one. I see. This is certainly a powerful. That's a pretty strong one. Is an alarm fusion. I see. This is certainly a powerful persona. That's a pretty strong one. 
that horse covered in eyes? Uh, I yes. See. This is certainly a powerful persona. Wait, that one. Is it White Rider? That's a pretty strong one. Yep. Totally normal. This is like Queen Elizabeth's dress. I feel like I should be able to whittle this list Begin searching. down more. I feel like I fused the wrong... I should have had two fusions to do. Done. Finished um. already? What? Now, what? let us observe. Dunno what? <laughs> and there's fighting duping everywhere. Pursue rehabilitation with sense. all your body and soul. You wish to view the registration, yes? Are you certain? <laughs> Click a rest of history facts there. Ugh, it's just the worst. There is an alarm in effect. This is its powered up for one of my favorite dudes. Get ready for this. Okay, so I felt like I should have been able to get both. Saka and Sandman. I must have used... Oh, I used Sandman. That's what it was. Okay, so I should actually do this one. That's a pretty strong one. I see. This is certain... That's a pretty strong one. I see. This is certainly a power... Choose which skills to inherit. <laughs> it is a pretty strong one. You are right. This should beget a respectable well well. So sometimes you get better stuff, and sometimes you get not better stuff, so... Um... No, oh, I didn't want that last time, either. That one I do... want. It's like Tinder. <laughs> You're finished already? What? I'm gonna save again. I should write something. Uh, I'll just save right here. Now, let us observe. Alarm time, inmates! Prepare for the unexpected! Begin searching. One. 
choose which skills to inherit. I cannot expect any new power from the both of you to work. Oh no! It's gonna, it's gonna break. I can tell because it won't let me skip it. This looks so happy to be able to do that. <gasps> Love man. Oh my god. Well now, a most unexpected turn of events. He's one of my favorites. So he's higher level. something I just need to like clear up how go the inmate needs our guidance if you wish to perform an let us begin the search looks pretty tough Pretty tough. Some modification, huh? Good. Try sacrificing this guy. Done already. Hold on. What? Let's do it. So one of the things about the gallows where you can strengthen personas. You have business. The inmate needs our guidance. Power requires sacrifices, I think. That you get this guy. Yeah. 
Hmm. That will do. Is that you have the chance to in uh, get one of their affinities. So right now Tamlin is weak to curse, so I was like, maybe I can make her strong to curse. And then she won't have any whoops. What are you weakness. waiting for? This is what it shall become. <laughs> this may be a bit gruesome. It's convenient how they all get covered up for these animations. <laughs> So, I guess they get abilities, but they don't get affinities. You wished before fusion. Born anew. It appears it will become something protective. You change your mind. Are you finished? What? Some bad what? vibes from this guy. Watch out, Joker. Yeah, I hate how they just respawn. I'm like, that's not right. Yes. Foolish grave robbers. Oh no, it's a sarcophagus. Move. Go! Uh, you. 
almost forgot me that there were enemies that can turn me into mice. Rude. Let's go. You can aim some other way. You know what? Out of me, Tama! You're mine. Ooh! Ooh, cool, Joker! Do it! Not over yet! Time for one of yes. your best moves! Ultimate power! Yeah. For you, Panther! How sweet! It's just what I need! Showtime attacks make me really happy. Yes. Somewhere. Photo, please. Big mm -hmm. bow. It's a ballista. Amazing. Narson. Come on, man. Are you sure I can't escape? Because you literally can't follow me. Bit right. All right. I can see it.
Show me your true form. your guard down <laughs> that's some good loot uh, well. let's pull back for now You're right. Shed by the god of the underworld, he'll become the sign for those who traverse the pits. Show me your true form. to, uh...
Okay. Next. Focus. Okay, it looks like there is a safe room. It's not a safe room. Skip over stuff. Show me your true form. There's a dangerous one in there. Bothered by like skipping stuff. I can feel but it. Doesn't look like I skipped any uh, loot, which is the important thing. However, the map is red. I'll reveal your oh, true form. you right. Oh, fuck. Dang it. Oh. Counting on you. Done their job. Let's keep pushing. Persona! How about this? You're mine. Keep up the pace. That's two enemies. Do it for joy. 
Like get back up so that I can thank you knock you down again <laughs> guys are starting to catch up. That one is no joke. Be careful. We are the better fighters. Use fire attacks to hit its weak points. The enemy is weak against ice. Don't worry. You're stronger. Goro! It's almost scary how good I am. We are the better fighters. Use fire attacks to hit its weak points. I got this. Yeah, I can uh, tell when I can track the bit rate. So I can see what it was back on to uh, where it should be. So it was just our internet for a while. And I can also see like on I have like a preview of the video. So I can see okay. that even mine is really far behind. Huh? That was a little too easy. It's not my fault. How dare you? Hey. I see. Eating all the bandwidth. crystal and everyone's fully spawned now I'll reveal oh, your boy. true form Give me the money. I agree. All, all cats Shoot. should definitely have swords. Only one more. Just stay there. Jake. 
Give me all the money, okay? Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Why you? Oh no, he's weak to that. Oh my god. For some reason I didn't realize that you could ask for money and at any point just go into an all-out attack. Show me your true form. It has to be that I missed something, but I don't know. Now's our chance to strike. Her skills are ineffective. Stay focused. It's almost scary how good I am. Listen, I went into the palace, okay? Be <laughs> fair, dog. It did take me a while in this stream, though. An item that was worth all that talking. Not bad. How's it going? How's your how's your Saturday? I spent a lot of time at the start of the stream, uh, doing right. confidant stuff, and <laughs> that was easy. Hmm. Right now, there's a thing there. I missed that. Oh, still in base P5. I mean, that's still a fantastic game. Me to put the gem back? Okay, that just takes me up and then I go back to where I came from.
Ooh, no weakness are sin. Yes. Okay, so I have these uh, two Nubis, sta uh, Nubis statues, and show me your true form. They both started with gems, so I took both their gems. What am I supposed to be doing? to do let's pull back for now okay Going in a giant circle. Huh. I don't know what the game I have something to do. I go further down. I'll reveal your true form. Too weak to bother with. And then if I just go out here, like that's too far back, right? Hey, uh, um. The light shed by the gods of the underworld shall become the sign for those who traverse the pits. I see it. I don't think I'm supposed to go back that far. Am I supposed to leave, leave the things in their hands? That doesn't make any sense. I don't want to just go back because 
uh, or go forward again because then I'll just reset all of my Set all of the enemy spawns. I can see it. I can feel it. Another. about that one. Is there another one that I missed? This feels so silly because like Persona 5 is not a puzzle game. They won't do anything to the panel. Hmm? I mean, clearly you just have to flip the panel around. In my memory, this was simpler. Or like, it wasn't a thing that I got stuck on, you know? I just went through the game and it was fine. I can feel it. Wait. Oh my god. Hey. Oh. Oh. That's so annoying. Hey. Oh. Open sesame. Yes. <laughs> now we have the same room. This is a nice spot for a safe room. Which Let's is good it. timing. Uh, cause I really need to go to the bathroom. So I will BRB.